All right. As always, make sure you have your paper pencil ready so you can bring in any questions that you may have into class. That way I can answer them for you, okay? Let's begin. What are we talking about today? Integers. And integers are basically everything you see here on this number line. Well, let's discuss what do we see in this number line. Well, I have positive numbers and I have negative numbers. Positive numbers, you're very familiar with those. Those are any numbers larger than zero. Okay? Negative numbers are what? Smaller than zero. Okay, so we have our positive and negative numbers. So I'm going to give you the definition to integers. Look at the picture as I speak, okay? Integers are what you see here. Integers are positive and negative whole numbers. I'm going to write that. Positive and negative whole numbers. Okay, now notice, guys, look at the number line. You do not see decimals and you do not see fractions. They're positive and negative whole numbers. Now, I'm going to go ahead and discuss a little, about, a little bit about integers, but I'm going to focus more on the negative side, being that you're very good with the positive numbers. So let me go ahead and change the number line. Okay, this number line, I think it's better. Okay, I changed it from horizontal, from what you saw earlier, side to side, to a vertical number line which means it's up and down now the reason I did this is because I think it'll be better for me to explain to you what negative numbers are so you can get a better understanding a more clear understanding please 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 some of you may need your paper and pencil ready because you may have questions to ask me when you get into class uh, tomorrow okay so let's go ahead and begin I'm gonna start with baby stuff I call it Mickey Mouse stuff Okay, stuff that you already know, stuff that you've known since you were a little, little kid. So let's do Mickey Mouse stuff. If I tell you which one is greater or less, I know you'll be able to answer these simple, simple questions. Now, let's look at the focal point here. Zero. We begin at zero, correct? Right now, I'm going to focus up here, the numbers above zero. What kind of numbers are they? If it's above zero, they're positive numbers, okay? Okay. So right now I'm focusing on the positive. If I asked you, which one is larger, 7 or 3? Well, too easy. Let's find 7. 7 is up here, 3 is here. Which one is higher up? Well, 7. So you're going to say 7 is larger than 3. 7 is greater than 3, correct? Too easy. You can see it here on the number line. Let's start with another one. If I ask you which one is less than or greater than, I know you'll get it correct. Let's see. 2 and 10. Well, let's find those numbers. Here's 2. Here's 10. Which one is higher up? 10. That means 2 is less than 10 because 10 is bigger. You see it right here. Miss Benjamin, what? This is way too easy. I know, I know, but I'm getting to a point. Let's do another one. One more and then I'll get to the negatives, I promise. Um, five or one. Miss Benjamin, I don't need a number line for this. Okay, I get it. But let's just bear with me. I promise I'm going to get to my point. Here's five. Here's one. Which one's higher up? The five. That means five is greater than one. Are y'all with me? All right. I know that you get this, but I'm, I'm going to get to the negatives, and I need you to understand the negative numbers. Okay? The negative numbers are very, very important. Just as important as positive numbers. But you're so used to positive, I'm not going to really focus on that. Let's go here to our negative numbers. Negative numbers, what do you notice about the direction? Negative numbers go down, okay? And they are less than zero. So, what if I ask you to tell me which one is less than or greater than? If I have negative nine and negative one. Okay, right now, I don't want you to look at the numbers. 
I'm going to cover them a little bit. Okay, if you just look at these numbers here, negative 9 and negative 1, most of you are going to look at the number 9 and you're going to say, ooh, negative 9 is greater than. I know it because look at that number, it's bigger. But let me tell you this about negative numbers, guys. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. So negative numbers, guys, are opposite from positive numbers. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. I'm going to prove my point here. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, I uncovered the numbers. Remember, zero is our focal point. Negative 9 is here. Negative 1 is right here. Which one is bigger? Which one is higher? Let, let me go back to this example. We have 5. And, well, let me use a blue color instead. Sorry, I don't want to confuse you. I have 5 and I have 1. Which one was higher up? Well, the 5 was. Right? Therefore, the 5 is greater than 1. Let's go to the other example that I gave you. Which one's greater? You have 10 and you have 2. 10 is higher. It's bigger. Right? So here we have 2 is less than 10. Let's go to our negative numbers. You have negative 1 and negative 9. Which one is higher up? Negative 1 is higher. That means, guys, that this was wrong. Negative 9 is less than negative 1. Look at that. Negative 9 is still dropping, dropping, dropping all the way down here. I'm going to repeat myself again. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Let's do another one. So now I really, really hope that me showing you the positive numbers help with uh, the point here with the negative numbers. Let's try another one. Let's do negative, sorry, here we go, negative 4 and negative 10. Again, if you don't look at the number line, let's ignore the number line. If you don't look at it, most of you will say that, oh, look here, 10 is bigger than 4. But look at the sign. It's negative. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Okay. I don't want to be too messy here. Let me rewrite it. Okay, I'm going to erase the number 9. Let's go ahead and check this out. Here's negative 4 and negative 10. I'm dropping, dropping. Negative 10 is way down here. Which one is bigger? Negative 4. So negative 4 is greater than negative 10. Guys, some of you have seen many of my videos, and you know I sound like a parrot over and over. And that's what I do. You're going to hear me sound like a parrot in the classroom, in my videos, in the hallways, everywhere I am, I'm a parrot. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Let's try another one. Let me go ahead and begin a new one. negative 3 or negative 8. Well, Ms. Benjamin said the bigger the negative, the smaller it is. That means that negative 3 is greater than negative 8. Let's check and see if it's true using the number line. Here's negative 3, negative 8, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Here's negative 8. Did you notice what direction did you move from negative 3 to negative 8? You moved down because negative 8 is less than negative 3. Okay? Let's do one more. Let me erase this here. Let's do another one. Let's say negative 9 and negative 1. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. That means 9 is a bigger negative 1 is a smaller negative. So the bigger the negative, the smaller it is. That means that negative 9 is less than negative 1. Here's negative 1, here's negative 9. Is it true? Yep, because negative 1 is higher, that means it's bigger. 
Now let's mix it up a bit. 9, negative 4. Too easy. Here's 9, here's negative 4. Which one is higher up in the number line? Positive 9. So 9 is greater than negative 4. Next one. Negative 2 or 0. Here's 0, here's negative 2. Which one's higher up? The 0. So that means negative 2 is less than 0. Are y'all getting the point here, guys? Okay, let me go ahead and give you four questions. Try to use, try not to, I'm sorry, try not to use the number line, okay? Try these four. All right, here are your four questions. Please make sure that you pause the video as you do them. And in just a moment, I'm going to give you the answer. So pause the video and try these four. All right, here are your answers. For number one, negative eight is less than negative three. Remember, the bigger the negative, the smaller it actually is. Here, in using the number line, here's negative eight, here's negative three. Negative three is higher in the number line, therefore it's bigger. Number two, you have nine and negative 10. This is too easy. Nine is greater than negative 10. Here's nine, here's negative 10. This was way too easy. Nine is much, much higher, therefore it's bigger. Let's try number three. Number three says zero and negative six. Well, here's zero and here's negative six. Which one's higher up in the number line? The zero. Remember guys, and as I told you earlier in the definition, ne any negative number that you have, it is less than zero. So that, that should have been a given. All right, let's do number four. Negative three is less than positive three. Here's positive three, here's negative three. Which one's higher up in the number line? The positive three. So that is why, again, guys, I use the vertical number line, just so you can see the numbers a little bit better than a horizontal line. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Let's see if you can put these numbers in order. Let's see if you can put three, 10, negative five, negative eight, four, negative three. Can you put these in order? If you think you can, pause the video, and in just a moment, I'm going to give you the answers. So go ahead and put this in pause, and check back with me to see if you got it correct. All right, and I am sorry guys, earlier I did not specify whether if it's from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. Let's go ahead and put them in order from smallest to largest. Here we go. Negative eight, negative five, negative three, three, four, and 10. I'm gonna say this again. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Here's another set of numbers. Put these in order from least to greatest. Go ahead and pause the video, please. All right, here are your answers from least to greatest. Negative nine. Negative four, negative one, zero, five, seven. Again, guys, the bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Check it, check this out using the number line. Smallest to greatest. Negative nine. Check. Negative four. Negative one. 0, 5, and 7. Did we put, put them in order from least to greatest? Yes, we did. All right, now let me just 
give you one of the, in green, I'm going to write one of the most common wrong answers that some of you wrote. Negative 1, negative 4, negative 9, 0, 5, 7. Now guys, if you look here, the positive numbers, 6th graders don't have any problem with. It's the negative side that students have problems with. They think that it's the same as positive numbers, like 1, 4, 9. They're like, oh yeah, the numbers are increasing. No, it's not, guys. It's backwards. With negative numbers, the bigger the negative, the smaller it is. So this right here is a common mistake that students make. Please don't do that, guys. If you need to draw the number line to look at it while you're taking a test or, you know, a quiz or just working in the classroom, draw it for yourself to help you remember, okay? It's not going to hurt if you need a picture to help you understand the numbers. But please make sure that you don't do it wrong. All right, guys, so we're going to end this video with the beginning. Integers are positive and negative whole numbers. There's no fractions. There's no decimals. And remember, the bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Okay, so in this case, negative 7 is less than negative 1. Okay, the bigger the negative, the smaller it is. All right, y'all have a great day. Make sure you come in with questions. Thank you.